get your music heard with these three simple steps. As a creator, you're probably familiar with the expression, work smarter, not harder. Well, I'm here to burst that bubble and say work smarter and harder. Work smarter by creating more engaging content to go with your music. Treat your fan base as fans, not customers. What I mean by that is fans want to see you, they want to know you. Show them techniques you use to write songs behind the scenes, tell them more about you. They wanna know everything because they're fans. If you treat them like customers, they're gonna treat you as a salesman. Treat them as fans, care about what they think, ask them their opinion, get them involved in everything. Once you establish yourself to your fan base, they'll do half your work for you. They'll promote you to their friends and family without you telling them to or saying like, comment, share. They will do all that stuff for you because you've treated them as fans and not customers. It makes a huge difference. And because of that, it'll act as a snowball effect and they'll keep sharing your art and keep getting out to more and more people. They'll tag their friends in your posts. That immediately reaches thousands and thousands more people just because they really like what you're doing and they like you. Let's take an example of CD sales. They've rapidly declined in the last few years because of streaming platforms. Everything has moved to streaming now. So why not, instead of making a CD just for the sake of it, why not go that extra mile and design a very elegant case, maybe one of the fold cases, you know, or maybe a nice leather back case, include a personal message from you. Maybe you've got behind the scenes videos of how you recorded the songs. Maybe it's a live version. Maybe it's a voice recording from your phone of the first ever time you wrote it, alongside a personal message. Already you're giving them so much more that they can't get with Spotify and Apple Music, and they're gonna hold that CD and show their friends and family, maybe even buy it for their friends and family because you've gone to that extra mile. They want to know you, get to know them too. That truly is working smarter and harder. Always be the hardest worker in the room. To get your music heard, especially in this day and age with thousands and thousands and thousands of hours being uploaded to platforms like YouTube and Spotify every day, you need these kind of techniques. Learn the key skills to balance your music with the right marketing and you will reach thousands of new people a day. I wanted to make this video to give you a couple of easy steps that you can follow, implement today, and it's all free. Tip number one, make your music accessible to any audience. What I mean by this is make it accessible to everyone. Have CDs, have online platforms, and importantly, social media is so huge in today's marketing. So instead of dropping link after link after link after link in every description you ever do, every status you ever do, use a platform like amplify.link and what it does, it compiles all of your streaming links into one easy link and makes a really nice landing page. So the individual that wants to hear your music can click that link and then they've got a whole list of options where they can find your link. And it doesn't mess up your feed, it doesn't mess up your description, it keeps everything smooth, elegant, easy to read. That is huge. Amplify.link is free and it's really, really quick and easy to set up. To start, copy a link to your song or album on one of the online streaming platforms that it's on. Head over to Amplify.link and hit create new link. Paste a link to your song or album in the search bar and it will automatically search the internet for all other platforms with your music on. If it misses any, you can easily copy and paste the correct link to the designated platform. Hit next and this is where you can add even more links if you have them. Edit your information if needed and hit preview link. And just like that, all of your links are combined into an attractive landing page, which will make it easier for your audience to find their specific platform. Once you have your link, work smarter and harder by sharing it to the world. Your fans will do a lot of that for you. Make sure you're sharing the link in Facebook groups, online forums, target audiences that are already a fan of your genre. That's how you'll get your music heard. Tip number two, understanding social media strategy. Now stay with me here because I know this isn't the most fun topic, but it's something that we have to talk about. And it's critical for building your brand. Now social media marketing is no new feat by any means, but understanding how audiences view the different platforms is key. For example, someone will react very differently to seeing your post or ad on Instagram than they would on Facebook or Twitter. Facebook was created with community in mind. This allows you as the creator to dive more openly into the description section of whatever you're posting and expanding on things in writing. Sharing your content in different Facebook groups and on different Facebook pages will allow you to reach more people who may be interested in what you're doing and may be more of a fan base for your music. Facebook was literally designed to help you connect with the world and to help you connect better with your audience and to find a new audience. Use the tools wisely and you'll reach thousands of new people a day. 
Instagram is all about the visuals. Making that video or picture post on Instagram stand out against all of your competitors with minimal description is key. Really spend some time to figure out how to get your message across in as few words as possible while creating unique and exciting graphics or videos. Do your talking with the content itself, not the description. People scroll through Instagram so quickly that if your stuff doesn't stand out, they're just not gonna see it. A great example of this is the infamous Fire Festival. I'm sure you've seen the documentaries on Netflix or Hulu, but it's really interesting if you haven't. The guys that created this festival partnered with different influencers and Instagram famous people to post an orange square, just a single orange square, nothing in it, with the tagline, Fire Festival coming soon. Something similar to that. This helped them reach tens of millions of people because an orange square stood out more than any other picture on Instagram. People actually stopped to listen. Partnered with that is the people that they got to post it. With the millions of followers already, it literally reached tens of millions of people and sold out really, really quickly. Although it was inevitably a huge flop and a complete failure, I've got to hand it to them how they reached tens of millions of people. And another really, really vital tip is to make sure you're posting to your Instagram story every day. Reach out to different people, share their stuff, make connections, and it'll help you hugely. And Twitter is all about rapid fire, short bursts of entertainment, making someone laugh, connecting on that level is vital. Post your content with an engaging quote from the video, make them laugh somehow, and it'll make them want to click through more. That's what Twitter is all about, it's quick fire, rapid content. And this all leads nicely into tip number three, make your content engaging and stand out. Take a moment to think about your favorite posts and content from your favorite influencers. Now develop that into your own ideas and thought processes while keeping it uniquely you. Remember your fan base want to see you, nothing else. Spend the time to get it right. If you're not happy with it, go back and edit it. Even down to the details like keeping your thumbnail engaging. The thumbnail is key, especially on YouTube. So make sure that you have that right and it reflects what you want it to reflect. If you've never used software like Photoshop or simply just can't afford the Adobe suite, then I highly recommend you go and check out Canva.com. Their site is extremely friendly to all skill levels, so you can create anything you wanna create using their platform. Even some of the most famous influencers on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram use Canva. I promise you, it's amazing. Either that or work with designers on sites like Fiverr.com. For incredibly cheap, you can get really professional looking logos, designs, anything. I highly recommend checking that site out because it's amazing and I've used it for years. You have to invest in yourself, both financially and creatively, to reach your goals. And once you find that rhythm and that balance, then it'll become like second nature to you. I promise. Remember, the goal is to make your content stand out so people want to check out your music. Have the best artwork, have the best videos, have the best visuals, have the best everything. Audio quality on your track is key. Spend that time to go back. Whoever is mixing your stuff, if you're making your own stuff, make sure you go back and make it exactly what you want and exactly what you want to put out there. And don't accept anything that falls short of this, even just a tiny bit, because you've got to put out what you believe in. And if you believe in yourself, then your fans will believe in you too. Remember, be the hardest worker in the room. It really will pay off and it will show off as well. If you've enjoyed this video, then please smash that subscribe button and the notification bell. It really does mean a lot. Let us know in the comments if you've got any more useful tips or just let us know if you enjoyed the video or not. It means the world to us and we want to keep creating content like this. Our goal is to build an online community to help and support each other. As artists and creators, useful tips from each other can go a really, really long way. So be sure to check out that link in the description where you can join the community. No charge, it's just a Facebook community and it's great. And with that, I'll see you next time, guys. Stay safe, stay musical, and keep creating. Cheers.